Hey everybody and welcome to Race City Marine. Today we're going to take you on a tour of one of our brand new 2025 Super Aeronautique G23s. If you have any questions on our new or used inventory, take a look at all of our contact information in the description below. Now this G23 finished off in a really cool color combination. You're going to see new for 2025, you can actually spec out the center stripe differently. We have this one finished in the really nice Admiral Blue Metal Flake. And then we have Mystic White for the lower hull and Mystic White for the upper hull as well as the main stripe and the Super Aeronautique graphics on the side. The interior upholstery is finished off primarily in the Mystic White with a lot of nice Admiral Blue accents as well. Moving to the underside of the swim platform, you're going to see a lot of awesome technology. We have the NSS, which is Nautique Surf System. These massive plates will protrude outward to really shape your wave. And from a touch of a button, you can go from left side to right side riding. Along with that, we have the NCRS wave play right in the center. That's the configurable running surface that we can easily get the boat on trim. And you can also further the wave. We have our steering assist thruster on this right side to pivot the boat very nicely. Great for docking situations as well as picking up your rider. And then the integrated surf pipe exhaust to make it to where this is a very quiet boat to operate. All the exhaust fumes bubble deep in the prop stream, so it makes it quiet and your rider doesn't breathe in any of those fumes. You're also going to see a telescoping stainless steel ladder underneath the swim platform and the really nice sea decking finished in the titanium gray color and we even have the 100th centennial badge throughout this boat, being this is Nautique's 100th year. We are going to see a grab handle up above, we have cup holders and then the nice rear facing transom seats, great place to lounge out enjoying your time on the water and then you're going to see the JL audio transfer remote with the nice step to inside the boat. And then entering into the G23, the evenly stepped transom walkthrough makes it really easy to get in and out of the boat. And you're gonna notice this nice step right here so you don't have to stand on any of the upholstery. Now, moving on this backside, we do have these two nice large cushions. You can just press these levers, automatically it pops these open with the gas struts, and you're gonna see a ton of hidden storage space, all lined in more of the sea decking for the flooring, keeping it easy to keep dry and keep clean. And if we then pull this center seat out of the way, we can pop this tab and take a look at the engine. This is the PCM ZZ6, has 450 horsepower, which is gonna be plenty to get this boat up on plane. And another great thing with the lockers, you're gonna notice the ballast is all integrated underneath the floor, so that's why you have all this extra storage space. You don't have to deal with any bags or anything sitting on top of that flooring. And then with the reversible transom seat, you can just pull this backwards, lift it up, and you have that nice rear-facing seat to catch all the action behind the Nautique. This does have nice wraparound seating for 16 people. And on each side, you can even pull these up and we have even more rear facing seating. So this boat is really ready to see everything going on behind the boat. You can also see the passenger seat is still usable. So you have all this nice seating. If we go ahead and put everything back into its lower position, you are gonna notice that the seats are gonna be on a hinge. So I can lift this open and we have more of the seat decking lining the floor with a ton of storage. It even goes into those rear lockers. So you can fit some longer items even like skis or noodles. And then this leg cut out here, you can easily sit comfortably two people on this side. And I can pull this down and we have a really nice lounge seat. Now the passenger seat is gonna be on a hinge as well with the gas strut. And when we open it up, we have even more dry storage with the massive JL Audio subwoofer. So there is a ton of space in this boat. In the floor, if we open this up, we have our integrated cooler, which is a great touch. Nobody has to get up out of their seat to gain access. And then on the glove box, there is a small window right here with the 100 logo. It is nicely etched into the clear portion. We have our heater for the passenger seat, a couple auxiliaries as well, and then a lot of hidden storage. Moving on to the driver's seat. This is a race-inspired helm seat, really nice design. There's a lever in the front you can pull and easily slide it forwards and back. And we have an adjustable height bolster if needed. Now, one of my favorite things with Nautique's driver's seats, they're designed to sit comfortably sideways. So I can easily sit in the boat like this, still maintain eyes ahead, talk to everybody in the boat, and even view what's going on behind. Then, of course, you can still comfortably sit forward as well. Now, on the right side, this boat is equipped with our telescoping power tower. So you have all the controls right on this right side, a nice large armrest, and then this control panel right here will control a lot of the link pan array screen. We have a volume dial, a rotary dial as well, a couple of different shortcuts, and a wireless phone charger. We have our throttle control, a couple of cup holders down below, and extra storage. And then moving to the link pan array screen, we have all sorts of different settings and vitals within the boat. Full navigation system, you're going to see all the lighting, and then our ballast system. There's the extra supplemental ballast in this boat as well audio control, and then on the home screen, we have our awareness camera you can exit out of, and our wake shave. You can really control that, giving you a nice depiction and some good general information about the boat. Got a heater up above, a little bit of storage, and our nice three-spoke steering wheel with the 100th logo as well, and then an engine start-stop button with our horn on the right side. 
We have a good spot right here to hook your drain plug for easy storage. And then moving on to the bow. So this is gonna have a nice air dam right here that you can pop outwards for those chillier days. So a really nice and convenient way. Of course, you can close down the windshield as well. With the bow filler cushion in, you're gonna see just how nice of a space you have in a G23. It's a really large bow, so a lot of people can fit comfortably. There are adjustable armrests as well. So with that locked upwards, you got a really good forward facing lounger. Now these seats are also gonna be on a hinge. So if I lift them up, you're gonna see more hidden storage space lined with more of the sea decking. And then this center cushion is adjustable. So right now it's in the bow filler cushion design. You can flip this around and you're gonna see an integrated sea deck lined step. So a really nice integration of that. And then you can pop off this upper cushion to get a long step. And then if you want the extra legroom, you can just take this out completely and you're gonna have a nice amount of legroom down in there. So really good use of space up in this bow. And then you're gonna see all sorts of cup holders, grab handles, as well as the audio system. And then now let's take a look at this Bimini as well as the tower. So this is the actuated telescoping flight control tower, powder coated in the white to match this boat really well. This has a fixed Bimini, so it's a really large design. You can see just how good it's gonna do shading the entire interior. There's extra surf pockets up above as well for those extra boards. And then these speaker houses each have two different speakers in them with some upholstery and lighting just to add that nice touch. There's also this mesh material here with zippers so you can actually place some wet items like ropes and other things like that. On these swivel board racks, if you pull them inwards, they're all lined in rubber. They are adjustable. They accommodate several different size boards. And I like how once they are outwards, all the water on your board is gonna be dripping outside the boat. Now to go ahead and access the telescoping features, you can just hold the power button and with the button on the down position, it's gonna lower all the way down and you're able to still use the tower in the down position. And it's even gonna shade the interior really nice for those early mornings and late evenings. And with the tower all folded into its lowest position just above the windshield, you can see how nice it is, especially giving you that extra shade and still having all the function. But there's a full look at our 2025 Super Aeronautique G23. This is a fantastic wake boat for your friends and family. If you have any questions on this boat, our new or used inventory, take a look at all of our contact information, and we look forward to seeing you all out on the water.